Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Um, it really isn't news that Lance Armstrong used performance enhancing drugs. Only his most naive and devoted fans believed his denials, at least in the past several years. The only news is that he finally admitted it. The sport of cycling was riddled with steroids, EPO, HGH, and blood doping during his peak years. And there was no way Armstrong was going to settle for finishing in the middle of the pack behind riders he considered inferior. So his use of the drugs is both understandable and forgivable. Even the years of lying to one and all is forgivable. What is not is the lengths he went to to protect the lie. When people came forward and told the truth, Armstrong threatened to make their lives a living hell, and he proceeded to do just that. He would smear them, ridicule them, bully them, and even haul them into court. The damage that he did to the reputations and lives of former friends and allies is not something that can be glossed over. It's not something that can be forgiven. He didn't just deny the truth. He sought to destroy it and along with it the lives of those who told it. And for this he cannot be forgiven. He does not deserve a second chance. He can apologize until he's blue in the face. And that will not repair the damage he did. The best he can hope for is to fade into well-deserved obscurity. Yes, along the way he did some good. With his Livestrong Foundation, which it might be a good idea for them to change the name of that. And his story of coming back from cancer was inspirational, but now it's all tarnished. By the way, Oprah Winfrey deserves credit for landing the interview and for how she conducted it. She did a real good job. But I keep expecting her to jump up and yell, look under your seats. You're getting steroids. You're getting steroids. Everybody's getting steroids. Thanks for listening.